We're back. It's Thursday, or as I like to call it, Thurs Thurs Yay. Rewards Thurs Thurs Rewards Day. Uh, and we've got a minute and a half until we've got some division rival rewards. So, what I have for you is some share play rewards and my own rewards, of course. We've got Simons. He got ranked 2 in Division 2, which is actually solid. Now, I, I it's not going to show me it yet, but we can show. I can show you guys in a second. The rank 2 rewards, I think, are broken for Division 2, and I'll explain to you why in just a second. But we also have my rewards and Jim's rewards, or Jim Real Estate rewards, aka George. Um, I got rank 2 Division 4, I want to say, and I don't know what George got. He always leaves it a surprise for some reason, which makes it a hell of a lot harder to make these videos and talk about something in the start when we're waiting the 50 seconds for, uh, for the uh, calculation of rewards. However, it's currently 5 to 8, and I'm very tired. You know the drill. When I'm very tired, the reactions to the packs may, may be a bit rubbish, and I apologise, but we're going to try. I'm a little bit more energised, actually. I've had, some, I've had some G Fuel, which is a sponsor, but also is not, like, sponsoring this video. It's just, like, a sponsor of... Yeah, <laughs> We've got 26 seconds left, all right? And I want to try and save it every second, because every second is another mid-roll. So, we've got 20 seconds left, and hopefully we can pack something good. Now, last week, I had dreadful rewards on my account. I had dreadful rewards on Simon's account. Didn't have great rewards on George's account in terms of... Um, in terms of division rival awards, I don't think I got a single walkout last week in mine. Might have got a walkout on somebody else's, but it wasn't mine. Um, hopefully, we can change that. We're going to open Simon's first because uh, he got the highest division. Um, I do want to quickly show you guys, but first of all, it's going to ask us what we want. So it's either we either have a choice of 58,000 coins, three mega packs, and a 15k pack tradable, or six mega packs and two 15k packs untradable. Now, you guys already know what we're going for. Of course we're going untradeable, because why wouldn't we? We have rank 2 rival rewards in Division 2. So, of course, we'll uh, X over that and we get these packs. Now, I wanted to quickly talk... Can I not open... Okay, you know what? It just doesn't really matter. Basically, the rewards are stupid. Uh, the rank 3 rewards are like 10 times better than rank 2 rewards. It makes no sense. However, we have a load of these packs now. We have 8 packs in the store, which is quite exciting because... Packs are always nice. Don't expect anything from the 15k packs, but 35k packs are decent packs, so you really should get something from those. Uh, we're going to start off with a Farfan, a Jeffrey, uh, Jeffrey Jefferson, Je Jeffrey Farfan. I seem to make up players' names for some reason in these videos. Uh, the amount of comments I get, like, this guy's name's Steve and you called him Greg. I'm just like, I did I now. Okay, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. So, uh... Yeah, if I get anyone's players' names wrong, be sure to let me know in the comments because, you know, that's that's the most important thing. That's the most important thing. You gotta let me know in the comments down below if I make if I if I make a mistake on players' name. But we get Adair, ex I want to say Inter striker from the Calcio A or Syria. Uh, it was Calcio A last year, right? In free for it was anyway. All right, so we got six mega packs. In theory, we should get something decent from six. We really should. If we don't, then that is absolutely shocking. It's shocking for me if we don't get anything good from six mega packs. We start off with a board. Dutch, centre back. Oh, dude, I thought it was going to be Van Dijk. Van Dijk would have been insane. You know what? De Vries not bad. 84 rated. Uh, all 84s, 83s are fantastic because EA like to drop SBCs that require them. So they're always nice to use as a as SBC cannon fodder. Uh, Bolly, man. Luis Gustavo is all right. It's another 83. I really wish that was um, that was Van Dyke. However, sadly, it was De Vries. Okay, so next a mega pack. It's not going to be a walkout again. Are we going to get a board in this one? It is going to be a board drop. That's good. It's going to be Brazilian striker Gabi Jesus. No, of course not. It's going to be Jonas. I don't think I've packed Gabi Jesus once this year. I really don't, and uh, that's kind of sad. Because the amount of Brazilian strikers we get in packs, and it just doesn't seem to be Gabi Jesus. One thing I've always wondered. And this is something that I would love to pass on to you guys in terms of a question. Uh, oh, and obviously, you guys won't know the full answer, but it's like a theory. What do you think about in terms of like, like uh, for example, pack probabilities? It says an 85 plus player is a 4.3% chance. However, I think there's way more of a chance of packing an 85 Ribery than there is of packing an 85 Fabinho just based on price. It does not seem like you pack a whole lot of, say, the 85 Van Dykes or the 85... Uh, uh, Fabinho's as opposed to packing like really bad 85 rated players. Jamie Vardy's not bad though. Um, I think that EA are not really being 100% honest when it comes to the pack probabilities. I think that 
they they say blanket statements like all 85s are at this percent chance but you know you don't have the same chance of packing a gabby jesus as you do uh luis gustavo or you know someone that sells for a thousand coins as opposed to like a 30 to forty thousand coin gabby jesus we've not had a walkout yet i'm kind of disappointed in that with all the mega packs two non-board drops back to back as well that is actually very disappointing ea come on man what is this this is disappointing as hell mega packs should be good packs but that's just my theory in terms of like pack probabilities and pack weight and stuff. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think and your thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, let me know what you think about pack, probabil pack probabilities, pack weight. Walk out. Good news. Scream card. We've got a screamer. Belgian. CDM. Fellaini. Not bad. That's sick. That is actually really good. I'm well happy with that. And he's wearing the Everton kit. He's wearing his old club's kit. That is so cool. That is actually sick. I'm very happy with that. Now, Simon is a massive Everton fan. So, to get an ex-Everton player as a walkout as Ultimate Scream is very nice. That is sick. So, we'll happily take that. Let's see if we've got anything else in the pack as well. That is that is so dope. That is dope. Oh, my God. As we talk about him, we get Fabinho. Who, if you don't know, is like a 90,000 coin card, I think. Oh, my word. That is the best pack I think I've had in a long, long time. He's 80,000 coins on PlayStation. Plus Fellaini, who goes for... I'll tell you in a second. Maran Fellaini's Scream card is 50,000 coins. 130,000 coins in players right there. That is insane. That is one player I really want to pack on my road of glory because I've got him in my team and he's just 80,000 coins that I could be spending on something else. So we've got one more mega pack left. That is the look that I'm talking about in rewards. Let's go. Okay, we don't get a walkout, sadly, in the last mega pack. However, that was an insane pack. That pack right there was absolutely insane. Very happy with that. So, we didn't get a very good pack to end off, but we do have my rewards. So, I'm going to jump onto my Rogue Glory account. We're going to open my rewards right about now. Let's do it. Okay, we're on the Rogue Glory account now. So, for rank 2 in Division 4, we have a choice of 50,000 coins. Um, a 15k, 50k, and 35k pack tradable, or of course the rewards we are going to take, which is untradable option of the two mega packs, the two 50k packs, and the two 15k packs. Uh, so rank two in division four, and we get these very decent rewards. I didn't even play that much this week. Like obviously I played foot champs. We got gold one in foot champs, which I'm happy with, um, and that got us I think 12,000 points uh, in terms of uh, in foot champs points. And then I think I ended on 21,000, so I only gained. 9,000 points. We start with a board, actually. It's going to be a Spanish center mid. It's going to be Gerard... No, Manu Tregueros. Not bad, actually. We'll take it. It's an 83. Any board's a board. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I only played for, like, 9,000 points. Uh, and I'm happy with all these rares and non-rares, by the way. Because I'm going to go ahead after this video and complete a bunch of UCL uh, packs for my own account just to try and get some good players. Um, so, all board drops... Sorry, not all board drops. All rares and non-rares are great. I'll happily take them all. Um... But yeah, I only played about 9,000 points. And the thing is, I won a bunch of games in a row this week. I, only, I think I only lost like one or two games. So, um, excuse me. So, it was it was nice to, to be able to play a bunch of games and not have to, you know, grind too hard to get ranked 2. I was happy about that. And I'm always happy getting ranked 2, especially in Div 4 when we get really good rewards. Brazilian right winger, Willian. Malcolm. Decent. Could have been Willian. I would have been very happy with Willian. Um, because he's like a 30 some thousand coin card, I feel like, or 25k. But Malcolm's not bad, we'll take it. Um, it's not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Uh, and De Rossi and Adoris, damn, what a pack! Three boards, I'll happily take that. Hell yeah, decent card to be fair, Malcolm. Uh, great agility, less balanced, but it's not bad. Um, decent shot power and long shots. Composure is pretty mess, same with stamina and, and pretty much all physical stats. Um, but that's not bad for a mega pack right there. We've got another mega pack here to open. Come on, be something decent. It's not going to be a walkout, sadly. Can it be a decent card still? Boards, someone that can sell. German, goalkeeper, Bernard Leno. Not bad, but not great. I do want to quickly uh, clarify as well. When I say someone I can sell, I mean, for example, the players on my team, I've got... I think Son and Fabinho are my only two non-board drops that are tradable in my team. But if I got either one of those, it's a lot of coins to get. Uh, but that's not bad. We'll take that. Uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach kit. Okay, so we've got 250k packs. Come on, EA. Hook a brother up, please. Let's see something good. Let's see something big. Not going to be a board uh, walkout in the first pack. It's going to be a board, though, which is good. It's going to be French, center mid. 
Taliso, not bad. 83 rated, we'll take it. It's all right, we'll take all the boards, not bad. Um, could have been better, could have been a whole lot better. Uh, Ricardo Pereira, uh, it's pretty, that's a pretty bad pack. That is a pretty bad pack, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not, I'm not that happy with that. However, if we got a, if we got a walkout, we'd make up for it. Can we, please? Last 50k pack on, from my rewards. Not going to be a walkout, sadly. Hopefully, our gold... Oh, it's going to inform. Hopefully, our gold one rewards later tonight is better for us. It's going to be a Chinese league right mid. It's going to be Zheng Long. Damn. That's not great. That That's not great at all, sadly. Um, but you know what? It's a bunch of players in the club, so I can't complain. Not a single player over 83 in this one. Luckily, we got the inform. Otherwise, it would not have been a board drop. So... Pretty shafted, in my opinion, for my rewards. Um, not great at all. However, we do have some more rewards to open. This is what this is, this is my team, by the way. The only tradable players I've got is Mendy, Mane, Fabinho, and Kane. They're the only four tradable players about in this whole team. Um, so we've got a bunch more uh, packs to open for this video. So we're going to quickly jump over to that account now. On to June's real estate account, or George. Uh, let's see what rewards we've got. So I think you've got rank one in Division 5. Um, so we get 250Ks, 415Ks, and two Mega Packs. I think it was Rank 1, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, there it is. We've got some Rank 1 rewards for this video. So uh, let's go. Uh, decent as well. Decent rewards. Rank, rank, uh, rank 1 Division 5 is, I think, the second best reward you can get in between Div 5, 4, and 3. And then I think that Div 2, Rank 3 rewards are, like, the best you can get. And then Div 1... Rank 1, I think, is like the highest value. I'm not entirely sure if that's 100% correct, but that's what I believe is true. However, I think Div 2 and Div 3 rewards are a little bit messed up. Unless it's... Maybe it's just Div 2 rewards. I think it's supposed to be like rare Mega Packs and they're just Mega Packs. So, hopefully EA is uh, looking into that. However, let's see if we can get anything good for uh, for uh, these Rank 1 Division 5 rewards. I'm still a little bit salty about mine. However... Of course, we have gold one rewards for me to open on my Royal Glory account later on tonight. So hopefully, I could pack something decent from those. Um, I'm just really hoping that we pack like a big red card or something decent from the 100k packs because I grinded my ass off this weekend. But we do get boards. Who's it going to be? Dutch? Striker? Depay? Depay! Not bad. That's the first time I packed him this year. That's really solid, actually. He is a sick, sick card. How much is Depay actually selling for right now? Of course, he got the uh, the 86 rated League SBC. Damn, he's down to two and a half thousand coins. He used to be like 10, 15k card, man. But you know what? That's not bad. That's a decent card to have in the club. Decent little uh, little untradeable. Very good super sub as well. So we've got one more 15k pack. Let's jump right into it. Come on, let's see that. Let, ah, I was gonna say let's see the walkout, but uh, we've already seen it already. So can't can't complain too much. We've seen a walkout so far this video. Um, so that's nice. Uh, I'm hoping that we can uh, we can pack something big though for George. So we've got two mega packs and two 50k packs. Come on, EA, walk out. There it is. Come on, something big. It's gonna be an inform walk out. I have no idea who this could be. Spanish, centre mid. Oh damn. Okay. Um. Uh. <laughs> uh. I, I, I My mind went blank for the players that are in this week's Team of the Week. I think that's the worst informed walkout you can get. However, it's an informed walkout, so we'll take it. Fabian only sells for 20,000 coins. However, that's a 20,000 coin value card in the club. And it can be used for SBCs and whatnot. And actually looks pretty solid, I'm not going to lie. Uh, awful, awful jumping for a 6'2 player. Um, Stamina is pretty meh. Same with strength, especially for centre mid. But not bad stats. Four-star skills as well, so... You know, the rest of his stats are pretty decent. He's definitely usable. However, probably only usable for like 35 minutes of the game. Um, but it's not it's not too bad. Not bad to back walkout, sadly. I saw someone get back-to-back -back prime icons the other day, which was crazy. Um, who's this? It's going to be, no way, Shane Duffy. The man himself, Shane Duffy. Inform Shane Duffy. There it is. What a beast. Brooks the HD. Eat your heart out. That is absolutely beautiful. I, I, yeah. <laughs> It's a bit of an inside joke, that one. Uh, oh, Gundogan in the same pack. However, um, I've got an Irish friend who is a massive, massive fan of both John O'Shea and Shane Duffy. So I was happy to see that just for him. So we've got 250k packs now. We've had two informs on this account already. This, this, this account is way luckier than mine. So um, let's see if we can get anything decent from these 50k packs. It's going to be a non-board non drop in the first one. Oh, dude, a non-board drop. It's painful to look at. It's painful to look at, dude. 
why? Why do these packs exist? Why do non-board drops exist? That is gross. That's That should be classed as gross misconduct. Okay, we actually had one tradable player there, so that's not too bad. That should be classed as gross misconduct. Come on, give us a walkout to settle our troubles. Last pack of the video. No, it's not going to be. However, that was the last pack of the video. Can it be a board? It's going to be a board someone decent. The pie? No. Van Dyke? No. Okay, great. You know what? I've been baited a couple of times in this video. So, that's not bad though. I'm happy with the rewards that, that we've had on everyone's account bar mine. Uh, obviously, we got Scream Fellaini and Fabinho on Simons. We got a couple of decent players over here on, 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 on George's account. Mine were a bit meh. But like I said, I'm, I'm holding out for my Gold 1 rewards. We will have another video later tonight of Gold 1, plus I think Elite 2, plus I think uh, Gold 3 rewards. So that should be pretty interesting. Look out for that. Thank you all for watching this video, and I'll see you later.